ever reach press peace <laughs> hi guys so welcome to part two of why some of us may never reach purse peace is it possible yes as in part one i've been detailing to you some ways in which you could reach purse peace and so i'm gonna continue with this discussion but before we do guys as you know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable so yes as we left off last time another thing that you have to keep in mind is that the fashion industry the influencer community it's not designed to help you to get to purse peace it's it's the complete opposite aha uh -huh. you do realize that in fact the fashion industry the influencer community it's often not designed most influencers are not on here to help you to get to purse piece or clothing piece or accessory piece whatever piece you would never get any to any piece with the influencer community or the fashion industry it's designed to make you keep going and going and going like the energizer bunny yeah you have to keep on buying because if you don't here are some things that they would likely to tell you that oh and this one i take personal offense to and i find that if you're sustainable if you buy vintage pieces especially purses which i do some influencers are purse snobs. They are snobs. One of them even went as far as to say vintage is the new poor. Sustainability is the new poor. Wow. Wow. There are so many things to unpack from that statement in itself. One, it's shaming you for being sustainable for trying to do the right thing for the next generation it's also shaming you for being poor an economic status that is often rife with inequality and the fact that many people who are considered poor in the poverty status many ethnicities many demographics they were often withheld or they they find themselves on the margins of society they found themselves as part of vulnerable populations because of intergenerational unfairness systemic racism systemic many isms be it ageism, classism, elitism, and yet we find that we follow people that share these ideas with you, shame you. It's a form of bullying, looking down on what you could afford, what you love, what your values are it's intentionally bashing your values i'm telling you i could unpack so much from that statement alone but i hope that you get that general picture of 
what a statement like that saying that you being sustainable you like in vintage is the new poor oh i am i am totally appalled at that statement but yeah it just goes to show that the narrative that people use to get you to buy and to keep on trying to catch up so that you don't ever, you would never reach post peace, often targets your self-esteem, your self-worth to make you think that your self-worth is aligned, is interconnected with the price of the bag that you could buy. Man, this is unbelievable. There is an example on TikTok where some people from the TikTok community shamed this young girl who is in a critical stage in her life because she has embraced a pause from the brand Charles and I, I'll put the name here. The reaction for her, that was a pinnacle bag. That was her it bag. That was her status bag, if you would use the word status. And they shamed her. They were like, who's going to tell her? Yeah, that for them, it's not, it's not a luxury bag. For her, it's luxury. Luxury is different for many people. And as a community, we should never shame people. And we should allow them to reach their definition of purse peace, of luxury, of it bags. And another thing to also keep in mind is that we would never reach pause peace because when we have videos that tells you this is my addiction I am addicted to these bags and I'm never going to therapy no 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 Amy Winehouse, right? Unfortunately, you see the outcome? Oh, I spent $70,000 on these items. Ah! I'm so excited. My biggest, my most expensive luxury hauls yet. Yes, come watch me on box. And when you see videos like, you need these five purses in your life. You need to run to get these purses. Your collection is incomplete without these purses, these bags. When you see videos like these, the most gorgeous trending bags, you will never ever reach purse piece and it just ties back to what I've just mentioned that the fashion industry the influencer community most not all of them it's not designed to make you have pause peace when you hear stuff like that consider the source of that information who is it coming from? Often it's people who are already considered well off or in a better financial position than most of us who are consuming their content. And of course, some of them are nice enough to say, but oh, remember to look into your closet first and um, sustainability is very important. In the next time stamp, five minutes later, oh yes, I went shopping. 
at Beast the Village and at this outnet. Yeah. So they are never consistent with their idea of sustainability because it's not in their YouTube profile to be that. So it's like, I know, it's confusing. It was confusing for me too. One second, they're telling you to be sustainable and the next, they're telling you to run, to jump, to put in cart, to you need these in your life right now or your collection is never complete. I know, I watch them too. So what you need to do is knowing that there are triggers out there such as the fact that right now so many people have access to instant credit or some people take their parents credit oh yeah it has happened yeah and some people have access to pay as you go pay later planner or other apps that tell you you could pay in installments. This is where your willpower comes in. This is where you need to take reign and take control of your life, your spending. Consider your tastes, as I've said before, in part one. Please go see part one. So those are some of the reasons. When you're bombarded with messages such as those, you would never reach post peace. You would always try to find the next, what you perceive to be best thing. And it's not. As I've mentioned to you before, yes, there's that dopamine rush for those that always want uh, something new all the time, something shiny, something beautiful, what is perceived beautiful. As I mentioned in part one, when you get it, you realize it's not always what it's cut out to be because it may not even suit your lifestyle. It may not even suit you, not be practical for you. And yet, here, yeah, we are creating wish lists based on what we are being influenced on and not our style, not our taste, not our purposes. No. So this is where you need to take rein. If you want to, because some people don't want to reach purse peace. They love the dopamine. They love the next best thing, but it's short lived. Yeah, that dopamine rush is short lived. And if you really, really want to reach purse peace, you need to definitely consider, as I mentioned before, who you're watching, how often. Consider your lifestyle. Consider what you could afford. Consider your values. Take reign of your life, your own spending habits. Oh my God, disconnect. These are the triggers that you have to be aware of and pay attention to. With all that we have discussed, you could reach past peace by being aware of these triggers and you could take reign of your self-control, be disciplined, pay attention to what you're buying, one of the things that really, really works for me buying vintage stuff because often they are cheaper, they are of better quality and who cares what others, the snobs out there have to say. If you love it, you love it. And I love all of my pieces. They are absolutely fantastic. I am not having any sort of quality issues with them. Many of them are doing that. They are having issues with the same bags they're asking you to invest in. And so you need to take reign of your life and decide what you need to bring into your life, what you 
need and love that fits your lifestyle that would complete your collection what is your it bag what is your pinnacle bag what is your five most love bags those are your decision not anybody else's so guys I say this with love and no shade to anyone. I am just the messenger. And I hope that you have learned something. I hope that you in some way would come to purse peace at some point in your life. And I hope you enjoy this video. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. See you next Sunday. Let's reach purse peace together. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.